I'm not jealous. I'm not jealous. Wow, you guys really don't need to do all this. It's no problem. I left crates heavier than this at Mad Burger all the time. Anything for you, Amy. Can't handle carrying a few boxes yourself, Ames. Guess you could use some more training. I am plenty capable. It's called being a gentleman, Sonic. Not like you even know what that means. Whoops. Gentlemen? Huh. You really think these guys are helping you out just to be nice? Did you forget that Dave tried to destroy the planet? Uh, and why do you care so much? It's not like you're my boyfriend! Uh, uh, that's when Eggman launched his attack. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I guess I couldn't have asked for better timing. I don't know why I said those things. It's not like I was jealous, it's just... Why didn't Amy ask me for help? I'm the one who saves the day. I could have gotten it done in no time. Dave of all people. I'm her go-to guy. And Amy, she's my... She's... Amy's my gal. Ahem, <laughs> uh, that was some great swinging, Ames. You sure gave Egghead a run for his money. Oh, uh, thanks. Um, you did great, too. <laughs> so, uh... I'm, I'm sorry. sorry! Nah, you have nothing to apologize for. I was out of line. That, that wasn't cool. Hey, humility looks good on you. <laughs> really, though, it's okay. How about you and I grab a bite to eat and catch a flick or something? Don't freak out. You know, let me make it up to you, or something. Just, uh, just you and me? Yeah! I'm thinking it's been a while since you and I did something without sticks and the guys. I'll pick you up at a uh, six-ish. I don't mean actually pick you up, of course. Not that you're heavy, just you're plenty capable of walking. <laughs> how, how about you just meet me at the Villa Square instead? Okay. Okay, see you at six, bye! So, the rodents are going on a date, are they? Boys, start up the Eggmobile. There's been a change in plans. <laughs> hey, you're actually on time! What's that supposed to mean? I'm never late. Oh, really now? Actually, yeah, don't respond to that. Come on. Uh, wait, we're not going to Madburger? Oh no, we can't go to Mad Burger. Not when you're all dressed up. He noticed? Here we are. I hope you're hungry. Uh... Sonic, a little problem? Eggman? Why, if it isn't Rosio and Bluliet. What the heck are you doing here, Eggbrains? Maybe this is my part-time job. Robot parts don't pay for themselves, genius. You don't know me. Fine. Just get us a different server. The other servers are tied up at the moment. <coughs> nope, not dealing with this tonight. Come on, let's see what else we can get to eat. What's the matter, Sonic? This restaurant isn't fancy enough for you! Who would have known that Mad Burger was the only other restaurant open tonight? Huh? <laughs> Crud. We finished dinner way faster than I planned. There's still tons of time to kill before the movie. Yo, up for a walk in the park before the show? Huh? Oh, uh, sure, sounds great. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of a genius. I just like to play it cool. Can't have Tails feeling threatened. Uh-huh. Nobody likes a show off, Sonic! Oh yeah? Well, who asked you anyway? Huh? Want me to give him a stern talking to? I'm sure a quick one-two from my hammer will get him off our tails for a little bit. No, no, no. I don't want you getting all scuffed up when you look so fancy. Besides, I don't think fighting baddies is something most people do on a first date. Um, okay. Let's just try to enjoy tonight, okay? I mean, surely Egghead's got better things to do than pester us all night. Wow, Sonic! Don't you know you're supposed to open the door for the lady? A real gentleman walks on the outside of the sidewalk. 
Take this as a lesson, rat. It's your fault Amy's outfit is ruined. Only one scoop of ice cream. Quit being such a cheapskate and treat Amy to something nicer. Oh, only eight rings on you. Wow, you really are a cheap date. I could feel myself slipping into madness. I was like a ticking time bomb. I'd show him. He was about to get knocked into next week. Jeez Louise, can you believe the acting in this movie? And the writing is horrendous. This guy's the cheesiest villain I have ever seen. How about every time that bozo says something cliche, we throw popcorn at the screen? Oh, ha <laughs> ha. Oh, oh, Sonic looks miserable. There's gotta be something I can do. Uh-huh. It's okay. Just breathe. Huh. <laughs> Shh! 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 Hey, buzz off! Can't you see we're on a... Uh, uh, we're, um... That is to say, Sonic and I were, um... <laughs> oh, crap, you almost called it a date. Sonic would flip if you said that. But it sure feels like a date. Oh, that doesn't matter. He never said tonight was a date. Oh, no, have I misread this whole evening? Way to go! You're the lovesick child all over again! You're gonna scare him off! But the way he looked at me! Shut up! Yeah. We're just, um... I mean that, um... I mean to say that, um, we're, uh, you know... Uh, uh... <laughs> Shh! Sh uh, sh should I come with you? You hang back, I got this. Not cool, Sonic. The stash is off limits. You know what else isn't cool? You! World domination is one thing, but stalking us all night long? What gives? <laughs> oh, Sonic. Isn't it obvious? Huh? I'm here to make sure you don't ruin your date. You're the one ruining it! All right, that's enough. I'm gonna have to ask you jokers to leave. You're disrupting the movie. It was lame anyway. Me too, he's the one who- Ah, ha ha, uh, n never mind. You said you were trying to keep me from ruining tonight. If that's true, what made you think I was gonna blow it? Well, for one, it's you. Besides that, you run your mouth non-stop, yet you're purse-lipped about the one thing that matters most in this world. Apart from the Eggman Empire, that is. Huh? Love. I'm talking about love. Wah! That sounds so creepy coming from you. You have to tell her how you feel. Forget I asked. It's easy. I'll demonstrate. Please don't. I, Eggman, hate your guts. So simple even you can manage. I was doing just fine without your help. Did you even tell her this was a date? Duh. Of course I... did not. You're a real Casanova. Whatever. I'm more of an action speak louder than words kind of guy anyway. Hmm. You need more help than I thought. You... Oh. Why do you care so much about what happens with Amy and me, huh? No matter which way this goes, it's a win for me. You heard her, I'll appeal to her need for revenge and recruit her for my army. No chance. And if it goes well, you'll be so focused on each other, I won't have to worry about you constantly foiling my schemes. Pfft. Joke's on you. Kicking your butt is one of our favorite shared pastimes. Be that as it may, Amy's a special one. Even if she has a penchant for destroying my bots. She deserves a lot better than you. You might want to make your move before she figures that out for herself. Uh, um, uh, uh. <laughs> there you are, troublemaker. Sorry, we missed out on the movie, Ames. Never fear, Amy Rose is here. Are those vouchers? How did you... I calmly explained the situation and the manager sympathized so much. She gave me these and said to come back anytime. 
You'd be surprised what a little kindness will get you. Actually, I have something for you too, Eggman. Oh, is it a free movie voucher too? Nope. <laughs> Whatever happened to kindness? <laughs> My hero. Come on, you. I want ice cream. And I want to ask you something. Uh, that reminds me, uh, can we talk about this morning? <coughs> uh, what about it? You seemed especially annoyed. Did I do something to upset you? What? No way! Uh, I just... This may make me sound like a jerk, but can't help but notice everybody in town fussing over you and... I don't know. Uh-huh! You were jealous I was stealing your limelight! That's not why I was jealous. Oh. oh I'm no good at talking about this stuff. Come on, there's gotta be a way I can tell her without telling her. Huh? There! Huh? What's happening? <laughs> there's a live band and everything! Let's show them what we can do. Dance with me, Ames? I, I'd love to. Any requests from the duo dominating the dance floor? Make it a slow one, will ya? Sonic the Hedgehog? Did I really just hear you use the word slow, willingly? Huh. Well, that doesn't mean my heart stopped racing. We shouldn't enjoy this so much. He never called it a date. But could he really blame me? Doesn't he know the effect he has on me? Oh, that look in his eyes. That smile of hers. It I could just... just... Sonic? Amy. What is this? Rain? Ah, I'm sure we can ignore it. Oh, okay, no need to worry, I got you. I'll give you a lift back to your house. Mm -hmm. I wasn't ready for tonight to be over. <laughs> water. Why is it always gotta be water? But all that hydroplaning got us here even faster. I ought to ask Tails to make me some water repelling shoes, like the speed of, I don't know, like something about the water. Just ask him, 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 just ask him! Sonic, was this a date? Huh? Egghead was right! She had no idea this whole time! Yeah, of course it was a date. Was it obvious? No, it was not obvious! I know you hate it when I talk about feelings, and I've been trying so hard to respect that all night, but I... But I can't keep pretending that this doesn't confuse me. Our whole lives I pursued you, but you made it clear you weren't interested. So I bit my tongue, I backed off. And then you stopped running from me. And I swear sometimes the way you look at me, it's almost as if, but see, here I am again. You told me you don't feel that way about me, but then why a date? Amy, I'm such an idiot. I was trying to win you over tonight, not torture you. Then do something about it. Tell her already. Right. And that dance! Chaos, that dance! How can you expect me to- <gasps> Ames, I owe you an explanation. And bear with me, will ya? I'm great at lots of things, but serious talk isn't my strong suit. Uh-huh. Here it goes. When we were kids, I had lots of preconceived notions about, well... Lots of things. I assumed dating meant changing who you are, giving up your freedom, 
relationships sounded serious and confusing and messy, so I avoided you. But as we got older and as we started spending more time together, I realized that being with you isn't that way at all. With you, it's, it's exciting and easy and liberating. And I started thinking maybe this is what it's supposed to be like and maybe I wanted this after all and I just spent too long trying to make up my mind. And now other people are noticing you too. Which they should, you're amazing, but I wanted them all to see that Amy Rose is my gal. Uh, that you could be mine, that is. Well, not mine. Nobody owns you. I, uh, shit, that was going so well. Sonic, I've always been yours. Huh? And I'll always be yours. Then... I'm yours too. <laughs> just like that? Yeah, just like that. <laughs> Sorry. Old habits die hard. <laughs> oh, I think I can learn to live with that. <laughs> hey, well done, rodent. Awoga! Hmm. I immediately regret this. Ah. Oh my! Come on, you rust buggers, let's start planning how we break them up. But sir, we just spent the entire evening helping them get together. And it was just getting good! Shut your traps! If I wanted your opinions, I would have built you with brains! And we remained each other's. Forever. I love you both so much! And I love seeing you in love! Believe me, I do. But can you see the making out till after the battle? What? Did the evil aliens finally get to you and replace your brains with spaghetti noodles? Sonic and Amy have clearly discovered some ancient ritual where they can transfer and combine their power via their mouths and become some kind of super weapon. They're indestructible in this form. Hey! <laughs> uh oh. Whatever you two do, don't listen to Tails. It's for the greater good! <laughs> Hell yeah! Pump with sticks! Let your freak flags fly! And I thought you were the romantic among us! <laughs> Teenagers. Oh, Sonic! I can't believe you got me a present for Valentine's Day! Oh, you normally forget! I don't forget. I just never found a gift that was good enough for you until now. It's a shirt. I saw it and I thought it'd be perfect for you. Huh? <laughs> Is it great or what? <laughs> uh, you don't have to wear it if you don't want to. I, I can take it back. I'm going to wear this till I die. Whew. Hey, oh, babe, you're, you're wearing a shirt. Of course I am. You know, you wouldn't go through a detergent so quickly if you stopped wearing the same shirt every day. Not an option. That's it, Eggman. Your evil doing days are through. Witness my fury. Does that shirt say what I think it says? Yeah? Oh, goody, she's asleep. I can surprise her. Mm. That damn shirt! Uh, Sonic. <whistles> well, what are we here? <laughs> They're finally not wearing... <laughs> my shirt! Whoa, 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 whoa! What's this all about, huh? <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> I'm no expert when it comes to clothes, but I'm pretty sure that's what happens when you wear and wash the same thing every day. <laughs> Ames, it's okay. No, how uh, oh, people know how, how much I love you. I don't think anybody questions that. <laughs> It was, it was the greatest gift I ever received. I ruined it. Hey, now there's there's no reason to cry. You haven't even received part two of your gift yet. Here, let me go grab it. Don't go anywhere and I'll be right back. 
Here it is! Ta-da! I hope you like it. I love it! Ah! <laughs> Amy, wait! The, the, the paint isn't dry! <laughs> well, now we're just in a mess. It was worth it. Ah. <laughs> Sonic? What? Well, hello. Huh? What are you doing? What? What are you doing? I'm trying out your look. What's the matter? Don't think I can pull it off? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh. Hmm. You mock the power of the Chaos Emeralds. Eh, eh, totally worth it. Whoa! I want you right now. Right now, right now? Right now. Oh, oh my god! Guys, get me out of here! The roof. Of course. I knew you'd be hiding up here. Oh, not hiding, I'm, I'm just thinking. Here. It's cold tonight. Yeah, thanks, Ames. Will you join me? <laughs> I want to have a baby. Uh, you what? Sonic, look, if you're saying that just because it's what I want, then don't. I, I know I've talked you into doing things you, you don't always want to do, but this isn't something... Amy, quit being so hysterical. I want this. I really do. I want to have a baby. I mean, if you want to, I'm ready. Let's have a baby! Not on the roof, not on the roof. Hey, little bro, what's up? Are you okay? You, you look exhausted. Yeah, well, Amy's of... Uh, of... Of... Uh, uh, ob obviously got me working too much. Women, am I right, huh? Sonic, where are you? I'm on my lunch break. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be right there. I'll be right there. I better finish my memory erasing device post haste. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm sorry, my darling, but I'm afraid you'll have to excuse me for a moment. To do what? We're having a baby! We're having a baby. 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 Hey, guess what? Uh, what? We're having a baby! Sonic, we got your urgent message. What's going on? Where's the villain? It's been a long time since I got to break anything. Family and friends, thank you for meeting us here. Prepare yourselves for the most exciting news you will ever hear in your life. Feast your eyes upon Sonic Jr. Sonic, you jerk! You didn't even bore me first! Here I am, stuffing my face in front of all our friends, and you pick now to announce the most important moment of our lives! Oh man, I'm sorry, I really wanted to eat that ice cream! Now I'm gonna have to get another! We are going to be we uncles. Are going to be uncles. You named Amy's tummy after yourself? No, Sticks, I'm pregnant. And we're not naming the baby Sonic Jr. Yes, we are! So. When are they arriving? They? they? We're just expecting one, I think. <laughs> they? Uh, they? Well, you do know that hedgehogs typically have several at a time. Um, well, that's actually kind of rare nowadays, Rouge. I don't know. This one gal I met had three her first time around. And Bridget from my high school, she had four. Sasha had three. Elena and Ruben had two. And we're expecting another two this November. I even know someone who had six. Could you believe it? But I guess it's too early to know. What have you done to me? <laughs> I hate this part. The chill is so freaking cold. Ah, oh, babe, you want to trade? I don't know how many chili dogs I've been eating lately. I've got to be about, like, f what, five times your size now? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> You're such an idiot. Here we go. Ah, oh, there. The baby is still looking nice and healthy. And you're sure there's just one? Yes, Dad. Like I've been telling you, every time you come in, there's only one. I still need to get Rouge for that. So, do you want to know if you're having a boy or girl? You can tell? Yes! Wait, no! Wait! Let's do that cake thing, Sonic! 
A cake thing? Yeah, yeah. Don't tell us. Just put it in an envelope or something. This is wonderful. This is I've it. always this wanted for to real. do this. So we just did this to a bakery a and we made the cake pink or blue. I'm but sure oh I can convince him in and naming him Sonic Jr. I mean, Jr. cake in the envelope, but no way. I can't do that. But yeah, he's going to get into everything. Surprised. You have to act surprised. No, I'm going to get to teach him how to get on egg his last nerve. I don't have to look at it. No, he's a total surprise. If it's a girl. a magical moment. Oh, my sweet little one. I know it's going to be a long while until you're here, but we just can't wait to meet you, Sonic. <sighs> if it's a girl, oh god, ah, she's probably going to grow up and be so beautiful. If anyone tries anything, I'm so, so get by and dispose of. That's nice, dear. Now, can you stop planning your murder spree and help me pick out a cake? What kind of strange, evil cake chooses what a baby is? Sticks for the last time. That's not how this works. All right, everyone. Let's gather around and solve the mystery. <laughs> uh, mm. Step away from the dessert. The cake has too much power. It must be destroyed. Sticks, no! Is that a flamethrower? Mmm. <laughs> you idiots almost burned a perfectly good cake. And we eradicate anything with a Y chromosome. Don't hug me, I just stole your cake. I'm still a villain, damn it. <sighs> oh, sorry for crashing on the couch last night, Ames. I just I just couldn't sleep with the baby kicking all night. You don't say. I'm sorry, I just can't eat one more bite. Is that ice cream? Waiter, waiter! Now if I could just get a phone number. What is my phone number? Hello, sexy mama. Don't you touch me. Why are you so far away from me? Uh. Wow, you guys. This is too much. I don't even know how we could ever repay you. Bling diapers? Oh, Amy, no need to repay me. You agreeing to be in our wedding on such short notice is payment enough. You hear that, honey? Oh, isn't it just great how they decided to have a spur-of-the-moment wedding before our due date? You know what else is great, babe? Having feeling in my left arm. I think that's pretty good. That's pretty awesome. It would be really cool if I got to keep that. Open my next! Open my next! Open my next! Wow, you made this yourself, Sticks? Aw, it's adorable. And it doubles as a switchblade. You know, in case the baby needs to defend itself. Ugh. You guys, I just finished my gift for Aurora, my number one dad mug. It's a mobile of the solar system to a 1 to 200 million scale, of course. Tails, this is... Um, how is this going to fit in the nursery? Oh, we missed one. For me? Huh. Is that a maternity shirt? You look just like Eggbreath used to back in the day. I have to admit that is Robotnik's shape. Uh, uh, Amy, darling, baby, sweetheart, I didn't do that, so just like, I mean, which one of you guys did this? Uh, uh, do you not realize the hell you've just unleashed? Eggman, what are you doing here? <laughs> what is it, sir? A gray hair. This is it. My time is drawn to a close. If it makes you feel any better, I thought you were gonna kick the bucket years ago. When I'm gone, what will be my legacy? I have nothing to show but a rusty building full of useless pieces of junk like you. Hey, I didn't even take over one continent for Pete's sake. To be what we are and to become what we are capable of becoming is the only end of life. Perhaps you shall be remembered as a creator rather than a conqueror. One must admit, you succeeded far more often when you were teaming up with Sonic to save the world rather than when you were trying to destroy it. That's it. Sonic. That's the answer. I never felt more alive than when we were fighting to the death. A good old bout with that blue devil will lift my spirits again. He won't even bat an eye at us anymore. Sure he will. We just need to get his attention. But sir, she's with child. Meaning she won't be able to fight back. Bring her to me. You know, you've got some nerve bringing me here. It's a shame I left my hammer at home. I could have thanked you for the gift you gave me. 
Now, Amy, we both know you can't fight in your precious condition. What, what are you going to do with us? Calm down. I'm not going to hurt you or a freaking baby. I may be an evil genius, but I'm not a monster. It won't take long for Sonic to realize you're missing. My lair is the first place he'll check. Wow, you're just dripping with chivalry. Meanwhile, I'll be keeping you in this very dangerous looking yet completely ethical cage. The sight alone will enrage Sonic and he will break in. Little does he know I've coded a special failsafe in this fortress. When the sensors recognize his exact DNA, the entire building will go into lockdown. Even after saving you and your unborn child, there will be no means of escape for a solid hour. Sonic will have no choice but to fight my warrior bots. Then, when all hope seems lost, I'll let him win. This time. When the hour has passed, boom. The lair will come out of lockdown. You idiots will go off on your merry way, and I can start planning my next evil scheme. Amy! Sonic! Sonic! It's a trap! Activating emergency lockdown! Ha! Now that you're here, you'll have to fight my two biggest mechs! You better not blink! <laughs> Sonic, I, I meant no harm. Oh, but I do. G -g guys I just wanted to relive the glory days, you remember? It was really great, it was really great, it was great! Guys! I can't help you with reliving the past, but I can knock you into next Tuesday. I haven't seen this side of you before. You know, this is honestly, Sonic, we've known each other, we've known each other a long time. Come on. Guys! The baby is coming! What? What? Hey, Amy, baby, it's uh, it's okay. Just hold on. I'll get us out of here. You can't! Sure I can. We'll be at a hospital in a split. No, you can't. As soon as you broke into my island fortress, the building went into lockdown. Then unlock it. I can't. There's no override. The locks will disable in an hour. We don't have an hour. This is why you don't kidnap pregnant people! You'll have to deliver the baby here. You're going to help us. I'm not that kind of a doctor. I have a PhD in women's studies. I don't care. You have managed to interfere with every important moment in our lives, and I am not about to let you ruin this one. I won't say I've ruined every single one. Oh. Well, maybe I have ruined every single one. Hey! Are you listening to me? We need your help! I can't deliver this baby. But they can! Labor and delivery nurse database acquired! Labor and delivery nurse database acquired! This is- oh! This isn't how I pictured this- this day would go! You and me both, Ames. You're in good hands now, Mrs. Hedgehog. You're gonna want a brace for this! Me? Praise for what? I already have your contraction patterns timed out in my program. Deep breath. The next contraction will start in three, two, one. <laughs> Four! I want a baby, he says. Let's have a baby, he says. That is the last time I let you seduce me on our roof. Oh, God, let this end. Uh, what was that last bit? Just one more push. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, shush. Let's just clean you up and... Time of birth, 03-13, p.m. Healthy weight. Vitals are stable. Congratulations. Don't drop it, it's tiny. <laughs> Come here. That's right. Right to mommy. <laughs> Hi. Oh my god, Sonic, she's even more perfect than I imagined. <laughs> she is. She's so small. Look at those eyes. Hi, oh, it's so good, Ames. Copy on an off day. This is your dad. I look even cooler than I sound, right? <gasps> oh, oh, you, you get, get kisses, kisses too. Ah, oh, she's got my finger. Oh, baby, are you seeing this? Ah, oh, you're so strong, tiny. You'll be giving Uncle Knuckles a run for his money in no time. Huh? What? Ahem. I, uh, I knew you'd be hiding out here. I thought you'd like this back. Oh, thanks. Shouldn't you be, uh... Nah, the ladies need some sleep. Besides, I need to stretch my legs. 
I'd like to, um, bestow Orbot and Cubot on you uh, on an as-needed basis for Nanny and what have you. Wow, I'm touched. I guess you're not such a hard-boiled egg after all. Don't get cute. I have to thank you, you know. We couldn't have done this without you. Granted, this was your fault in the first place. You listen here, you little pest. Just because... Thank you. Seriously. Ah, oh, I... You're welcome. Nothing like a day like today to make you feel alive, am I right? Yes, Sonic. It sure does. I wish I was your derivative so I could lie tangent to your curves. Yeah, I think we did pretty good. Just when I think that girl of ours is never gonna sleep, she's out like a light. Reminds me of someone. We should have another. Another? Are you trying to seduce me? Maybe. I know I'm not as thin as I used to be, or as pretty as I once was. Amy. Oh, Amy. You couldn't be more wrong. You're even more beautiful than ever. Your strong hips and thighs. Your smooth, luscious curves. And these! Sonic! Yes, let's have another. Uh. Let's have dozens more. Uh. Uh-huh. Or we can just practice. I spin papa? No. Pete? No. Pete? No. Pete? Fine. I'll teach you to spin dash, but no spinning in the house. <laughs> if you get too dizzy, just unroll, okay? Okay. First get spiky. Okay, I spiky. Now think about moving fast, roll with it, and... And when you're ready, just untuck and done. <laughs> Eyes on the prize, Nux. Eyes on the prize. Huh, fastest thing alive my- Oh! Oh, <laughs> what's that, bro? Can't beat me if you're flying blind. Oh, boys! Sorry to interrupt your game night, but a certain someone wanted to bestow lovin's upon all of you. What? You mean my tiny actually loves me? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Uncle Tail now. Oh, fine. I guess I'll share. Lay on me, wiggle butt. <laughs> Do I get one too? <laughs> nah, Rory. Uncle Knuckles doesn't get one. He gets a knuckle sandwich. Oh, yeah? Well, joke's on you, Dad, because I just so happen to be hungry for a knuckle sandwich. Oh, how we for a chicken sandwich? Oh, uh. Nux, I swear to Gaia, if I wasn't holding my baby right now, I'd break your face. Why? You ruined our group costume. How? You were supposed to be Shaggy. Yeah, but Shaggy doesn't really suit me. Besides, everyone knows Scooby is the main character. That's why Aurora's dressed as Scooby. So we both look the best. Not seeing a problem here. Mystery Ink doesn't have two Scooby's knuckles. She can be Scrappy-Doo. You've got to be kidding me, Scrappy! Absolutely not! Whoa, dude, Scrappy, that's just criminal. I know how we can settle this. There's nothing to settle! Change or stay home! Let's ask the little lady herself. If she wants me to change, I will. Now hand over the cutie. I'm only entertaining this because she adores you for some strange reason. Hey, Scoob. Yes, yeah, Scoob? You want to tell these lamos how cool it is to have two Scooby-Doo's instead of only one? Aww. Would you say it for a Scooby snack? Scooby snack! Aurora, we say no to bribes! Scoob! Scoob! Twinkle tweet! What you look at that? It's Scooby and Scrappy! Actually, we're both Scooby. But I think we all know who wore it best. He's dead. Tails, how do you dissolve a corpse? I know the answer, but I'm pretty sure I'd be an accomplice if I told you. Answer the question, Tails. Well, you see, Tiny, babies are made from mommies and daddies who love each other and... Making a baby is like making a cake. 
The daddy puts the ingredients into the mommy oven, and then it bakes for months, and then, ping, the baby cake is done. What the heck kind of analogy is that, Ames? Oh, like you have something better, a wise and clever Sonic the Hedgehog? Go ahead, I'm all ears. Uh, well, I was going to say that there's like a baby tournament and there's the babies have to race to get to the, you know what, this sounded a lot better in my head. Yeah, that's what I thought. Make a baby. Huh? <laughs> Sonic, I'm home. Oh! Welcome home, babe. How was work? It was good. Great. You'll never guess what Aurora and I got into today. Oh, God. Why does that scare me so much? Close your eyes. Now, Tiny, say it just like Daddy told you, okay? Okay. Ready? Open your eyes. I'm Rory the Rascal. Uh? Uh? Uh... <laughs> That's nice, Rory, sweetie, but you play with your toys while I teach your dad not to make fun of mommy, okay? Aurora, sweetheart, save me. Bye, Papa. Bye. But kisses are cute. Not this one. This one was swampy and nasty. Papa was so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, oh, come on, there's nothing wrong with showing your wife some real good loving. Huh. You practicing your spelling there, kiddo? Mm-hmm. Huh? Wanna take a crack at spelling my name? Oh, yeah! <laughs> ah, Tiny, that's not my name. Yeah, huh? Papa. Now, Papa is your name for me, just like Tiny is my name for you. <laughs> Here, I'll tell you the letters and you write them out. S, O, N, yeah, you got it, that's an N. I, C. Good, now how do you say that? Ah. Yeah, you nailed it. Yeah, well, cool. <laughs> well, yeah, a cool name for a cool dude. You want to guess your mom's name? Mm, babe? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 great guess. I do call her that a lot, huh? But that's not a real name. Here, I'll write and you read. That's right. Oh. Yeah. But uh, I don't think she'd like you calling her by her name. <laughs> Maybe you just stick with mom. But you know what'd be hilarious? I triple dog dare you to call her babe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, babe. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you just call me, little lady? Babe. <laughs> teach you to talk to me like that. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Hey, what do you crazy girls think you're doing? I think you two rascals have been spending too much time together. Once I catch this one, I am locking her up forever so you can no longer corrupt her. Oof, Sonic! Hurry, Tiny, while well, I've got her pinned, you make a break for it. <laughs> you can run, but you can't hide. Sonic, you know I'm like a million times stronger than you, right? I could absolutely break free if I wanted to. Keywords being if you wanted to. You know you can't resist being wrapped in my arms. <laughs> huh. Huh. All right, let's see here. Hey, honey, hope you're enjoying your run. Sure, if you have reception where you're at, but Sweet Pea wanted to show you what we've been up to. Hi, Papa. Okay, baby girl, you ready? Yeah. Start us off. Marissa, play drill. 
playing Thriller by Michael Jackson. The song's copy. Right it, yeah. But take this video down. If I use the real song. Check it yeah. out. It's so cute. Damn, I love my life. It's close midnight. And something evil's lurking in the dark. Woo, work it, Tiny. Oh, babe. Aurora's gone for a few hours. How about we take a roll in the hay? <gasps> you mean it? Oh, Sonic, it's been ages. Nothing beats the feel of hay in your quills. Sweet, sweet hay, how I have missed you. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Oh, Sonic, look how adorable she is. You ever think she's gonna, like, get a little bigger, though? Because she's been so small for a really long time now. Well, I get her to eat a lot. She's just not really growing, which is a little concerning, but I'm sure she'll have a growth spurt eventually. Yeah, for sure, for sure. That was a fun round of training practice. Thanks, guys. Of course, Miss Rory. I prefer the days when she used us as teething toys. Hey, long time no see, Shorty. I guess that whole immortal forever young thing isn't all it's cracked up to be. And I almost forgot how annoying you are. Wow, Shadow, you look fantastic! Really, babe? Well, he does! Shadow, you haven't aged a bit! So you two are finally married. I really have missed a lot. Well, that's what you get for disappearing off the face of the Earth! That's funny, I didn't even realize you were gone. Sonic, you knock that off right now. Shadow? Well, come on in! We just finished dinner, but if you like chili dogs, we have leftovers! First you invite him into our house, and now you're giving him my chili dogs? Ignore him. We have so much to catch up on, and you have to meet Shadow the Hedgehog! Oh my god, wow, it's really you! Sorry, it's just, I never thought I'd meet you in person. I've seen photos, and I've heard so many stories. It's her. But my whole life, I never thought that I'd actually meet you. This is amazing. I have so many questions I want to ask you. So much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> my name's Aurora. It's nice to meet you. Aurora, you shouldn't touch that thing. You don't know where it's been. Daddy! Sorry, Shadow. Found a new bay. Don't worry, I'll kill him. It's a helmet? Yes. I put flowers on it for you. It's a helmet you made, and you want me to wear it. Indulge me. <laughs> a motorcycle ride lounging by the river. My dad's too busy being distracted by mom to stalk us. You even put pants on for me? Well, you know, I couldn't have asked for a better Valentine's Day. I have one last surprise that's going to take a little help from a Chaos Emerald. What's this music? I love it. It's some oldies music. You're an oldie. I prefer the term timeless. Where did she come from? I don't know, she just fell out of the sky. She's so pretty! Yeah, huh. You better watch it! No, I didn't mean... Not that kind of pretty. Well, she looks a lot like me! Are you saying I'm not pretty? That's... That's not what I meant! I, I think she... It's you! You're alive! I made it! Uh. Sonic, are you okay? I feel like I just got shot! I'd like to kiss you. I, I'm pretty sure I'm a terrible kisser. N not, not that I've actually ever kissed anyone before, but I just... I, I'm, I'm probably bad at it. Trust me, you're not. I'm not? My dream wedding, hmm. Okay, okay, I'd love to have a ceremony somewhere with an incredible ocean view. Like in a garden, at a podos, in the springtime. And it take place right around sunset, so the lighting is sweet and warm like honey. 
The whole wedding will be arranged with different shades of mint and coral and white. Lanterns will drape across the aisle and the tables, and various wildflowers will line the walkway. I wouldn't invite too many people, just my family and a few close friends. The bridal party and the groomsmen will have to match, of course. I'll see Mom waiting near the front. I'll bet her face will be red and puffy from crying, but she'll look as lovely as always. I'll have my arm linked with Daddy's as he walks me down the aisle. He'll be too stubborn to cry, of course, but he'll be squeezing my arm so tight as he tries to hand me over. The rest of the ceremony will be a blur as my groom and I exchange vows. He'll try to be romantic, but I'm sure he'll make an adorable fool of himself. And me? <laughs> I'll be lucky if I can manage just to say his name. And then... When at last the officiator announces, you may kiss the bride, my handsome groom will dip me back, we'll gaze lovingly into each other's eyes, and we'll share a beautiful, loving kiss. <coughs> ha ha, Daddy. Why do you want to leave me? What do you mean you're not going? You can't not go. You know I can't stand social events. But I'm going to be performing there. Aren't you going to support me? I stopped by to send you my well wishes. I'm sure you'll be perfect. Remember when you told me you loved me? When you said you'd do anything for me? That did not include dinner parties. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry. I missed the fine print on that one. Mm, you jumps. Stupid old... Ugh! Oh, fine. Fine. If you're going to be like that, I'll make sure I dance with every single guy at that party. Huh. As if that stubborn father of yours would ever allow that. <laughs> Please. He will be so relieved that I'm not fussing over you. He'll be overjoyed. He wouldn't. What? Are you... Well, I hope you have a fabulous time by yourself. Oh, I... I didn't know you were going dressed like that. Let's get going, Tiny! Good night, Grumphog. Aurora, wait! Uh, I need to find a suit. Introducing Mr. and Mrs. Sonic the Hedgehog and family. Welcome, Hedgehog family. Oh, thank chaos you're here. You look wonderful. But Sonic, I believe it is customary to wear a bow tie to black tie events. That's what I've been telling him. I put on pants, didn't I? And we're all just so proud of you, babe. Knock it off, Ames. Pants are a big deal, okay? And reducing Mr. and Mrs. Knuckles the Echidna and family. Is something wrong, Uncle Tails? Oh, no, 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 no. These rich snobs are just a handful, that's all. I can't wait to hear you sing, Lightning Bug. Welcome, all of you. Thanks for having us. Boys, what do we say? Thank, Thank you, you for inviting, inviting us to this elegant, elegant, elegant affair. I didn't mean you too, Knuckles. Miss Rory! Hey, T-Man. Hey, Ruff. I've never seen you boys looking so fresh. Mom put snot in our fur. Hair gel, T-Bone. But might as well be snot. Blech. Well, my date stood me up. Maybe I can steal a dance with you two so I don't have to spend the entire evening by myself. That won't be necessary. Uh, introducing Mr. Shadow the Hedgehog, quite unexpectedly. Wow. Hey, you watch your mouth, young lady! I'm glad you changed your mind. Me too. I'm sorry about earlier. You look phenomenal. Back off, creep! Oh, I didn't realize compliments were against the rules. Great parenting skills, Sonic. Now everybody listen. We are all gonna be polite and get along, and not fight at our friend's party. Or so help me, I will beat you all into the ground. Curious. I was looking forward to Styx attending. Don't take it personally. This isn't really Styx's thing. Uh, you thought you could pull a fast one on Styx, eh? Inviting me to your evil robot party? I've got my eye on you. So, how are things with Tails? Mostly pleasant. Though there continues to be a language barrier at times. It's so peculiar. In my former life, my purpose was to translate languages between computers. Yet with Tails, there is so much I still do not understand. 
Oh, don't worry, Cece. It'll come with time. Sonic and I are so close, we don't even have to talk with words anymore. Watch this. <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> it worked. What did you tell him? Oh, just that we forgot something back at the house. I'm sorry, Cece. I'm going to steal my wife from you for a bit. Okay, thanks. Bye. We'll be back. Impressive. Mmm, chicken. Dad! Can I please have the leg? Only take the leg, just the leg, I swear! Of course you can, bud! Yes! Thank you! Just hand me your plate. <laughs> <laughs> it's mine at last! Return my appendage or I shall exact the law of Talion upon you! That's the spirit, T-Bone! Stuff this fancy party! Okay, so while everyone was focusing on the kids, I may have accidentally stolen this necklace from someone. Ooh, this looks delicious. Come here. As much as I'd love to knock you on your drunk tail, need I remind you that we agreed not to fight tonight? Keep walking, tough guy. Wait, I don't understand. Bartender! <coughs> Get this pipsqueak a drink! Oof. You don't have to do that. Oh, but I do. You see, I've come to the painful realization that I'm stuck with you, so let's just drink up and let me pick your brain, because that's what in-laws do, right? Get your finger out of my face before I rip it off your hand. Cheers, you son of a bit. Wait, are you even old enough to drink, little grandpa baby? Baby grandpa, science experiment man? Give me that. Eh. What did I miss? Have they killed each other? No, they've just been talking. I just, I can't believe my daughter I had to pick a genetically engineered mutant to date. <laughs> is what are you laughing at? I just pictured the pile showing up at your door and it looks like, Hey, Pops. No. No, no. But Daddy, I love him. It's a salamander. Stop. Stop. It hurts. I love you, man, but I still want to kick your teeth in. And you're like, my friend, but I can't freaking stand you. We should do karaoke! Yes! My dad and my boyfriend are making drunk jokes. About me. Well, at least they're bonding. You know? Sticks threw me in a dumpster! You all must be clean to your hoity-toity facade! Come on, throw something else in. I can keep this up for ages. That's a family heirloom. Put my teeth back. Put your party pants on, Leroy. Here's a straw <laughs> word, but I really, I really, really, really don't like you. I really don't like you. Get off the stage! No! I'll fucking kill you! Shadows, I'm the ultimate carry on your name. <laughs> I'm the coolest. Oh, yeah. boy. <laughs> Real cool. And then you go, bad, 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 you have to give it all back, Rude. Your thieving days are behind you. You can't make me, you you stubborn brute! Tumble, you get down here and give Cece her leg back! No! Give it back, T-Bone! Her hand won't stop attacking me! Well, I've been set on fire. This is my cue to go home. Love the party! Oh no. Oh! This party went to hell and I had nothing to do with it. Why am I on the floor? Oh. Why am I wearing clothes? Oh, shit. Why is he in my house? Oh. Oh, your voice is even more annoying than usual. Well, let's see, shall we? The two of you drank the place dry and refused to be separated for the rest of the night. So you invited Shadow over to build a pillow fort. Oh, and you both thought it would be hilarious to bring up embarrassing Aurora stories. She made you both breakfast, though. Guess she's not that bitter about it. Oh, wait. Yes, she is. Good morning. 
I thought you guys might be hungry, so I made you this. No hard feelings, right? Oh, and I took the liberty of developing the photos from last night. Don't worry about distributing them. By the time you wake up, I'll have already hand-delivered them to everyone. P.S. This one's my fave, Aurora. Oh, sweet chaos. You have my permission to kill me now. That's my girl! You've awakened the dreaded sea beast. Unfortunately for you, this sea beast loves to eat hedgehoglets. Hey, don't touch us! Sorry, guys, survival of the fastest. Move it! Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. Where is. Daddy! Boone! Your sister is sleeping. Oop, sorry, Dai. Now, what is it you wanted to tell me? Look it! I found this little guy hidden in the rocks! Some awful baddie must have come by and busted his claw! He looks so scared! But I told him, don't worry! And I healed him all good! And now we're best friends! And we're gonna make sure no other baddies come to this beach ever again! So all your other friends will be safe forever! I don't know his name, cause he can't talk, but I think he looks like a Tom. Everybody thinks crabs are mean, and scary, but- Attack us! How do you tough know? Look out, sir. That was all of these needed all oh, hugs! Hey, I want hugs! Sorry, I was just excited, is all. Huh. Boom. You are just like your mother. I am? Without a doubt. And that is a- Wonderful thing. <laughs> Not many trick or treaters. Surely the missus won't mind if I snag just one. Harold! Easy, Georgette, I was just fooling. Inside, quickly! Turn out the lights! Whatever for? Sun's barely set. They're coming this way! Oh. You sure it was them? I was a few when it happened. There were so many of them. By the time I got out of there, there was nothing left. My oh, Fuchsia and Rodney, they were so prepared. Dang it, Harold! You know no amount of preparation can spare you from the reaping! Gaia, I've got to keep quiet. Let's hide in the room so they won't know we're home. Oh, how long we got to stay cooped up in the dark, Georgette? As long as it takes. They may bleed the neighbors dry. As long as we stay quiet, they won't bother us. You ever think we ought to just give them what they want? It is Halloween after all. You don't mean that. Maybe I do, dang it, Georgette. I'm dressed as a scarecrow and for what? So we can stay cooped up all night? I've worked too hard making sure we have everything we need. To have it all gone in an instant? Just because you wanted to show off your costume? <laughs> Please don't answer it. There's too many of them. Very well, Georgette. <sighs> Thank Chaos Miles of Pearls tonight. She never could turn anyone away. Miles going to Pearls tomorrow. Honey, if she ain't a Pearls, where is she? <gasps> Trick or treat! Why, it's a whole caravan of you little darlings. I'm afraid there's just too many you to count. Why don't you go on and take the whole bowl? Thank you. I know the house gave us the whole bowl. I hope my little starlight said thank you. We did, Mommy. Jackpot! We're going to need a bigger wagon. Ah, oh, don't you worry. Oh, Grandpa Sonic can help lighten the load. Babe, you're going to get heartburn. Shout out to all of our members for helping support the channel. And also a huge thanks to Digital Viper, Jackpot King, Rusty Rose, and Red Hood.